Good evening and welcome to live streaming worship here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead, the rector here. Great to be with you over the internet on this we'll be at 16th Sunday or 16th Tuesday after Pentecost. Um, let's see, today is the feast day. The church remembers Philander Chase, who is a bishop up in Ohio, I believe. Uh, well, you know, one of those really great faithful bishops uh, in the life of the Episcopal Church, as I say, always worth a Google. Uh, on Tuesdays, as we do through Thursdays, uh, we'll offer evening prayer, and then of course on Friday we offer Compline and the Great Litany. And so, with that said, let's go pray. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant your absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The psalm appointed for this afternoon is Psalm 78, part two. Psalm 78, the second part, beginning on page 698 of the Book of Common Prayer. How often the people disobeyed him in the wilderness and offended him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power in the day when he ransomed them from the enemy. How he wrought his signs in Egypt and his omens in the field of Zoan. He turned the rivers into blood so that they could not drink of their streams. He sent swarms of flies among them ate them up, and frogs which destroyed them. He gave their crops to the caterpillar, the fruit of their toil to the locust. He killed their vines with hail, and their sycamores with frost. He delivered their cattle to hailstones, and their livestock to hot thunderbolts. He poured out upon them his blazing anger, fury and indignation and distress, a troop of destroying angels. He gave full rein to his anger, he did not spare their souls from death, but delivered their lives to the plague. He struck down all the firstborn of Egypt, the flower of manhood in the dwellings of Ham. He led out his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them to safety, and they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. He brought them into his holy land, the mountain his right hand had won. He drove out the Canaanites before them, and apportioned an inheritance to them by lot. He made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. But they tested the Most High God and defied him, and did not keep his commandments. They turned away and were disloyal like their fathers. They were undependable like a warped bow. They grieved him with all, her hill, all their hill altars, and provoked his displeasure with their idols. When God heard this, he was angry, and utterly rejected Israel. He forsook the shrine at Shiloh, the tabernacle where he had lived among his people. 
He delivered the ark into captivity, his glory into the adversary's hand. He gave his people to the sword and was angered against his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men. There were no wedding songs for their maidens. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. The Lord woke as though from sleep, like a warrior refreshed with wine. He struck his enemies on the backside and put them to perpetual shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph, he did not choose the tribe of Ephraim. He chose instead the tribe of Judah and Mount Zion, which he loved. He built a sanctuary like the heights of heaven, like the earth which he founded forever. He chose David his servant, his servant and took him away into, from the sheepfolds. He brought him from following the ewes to be a shepherd over Jacob his people and over Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them with a faithful and true heart and guided them with the skillfulness of his hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When, Gal Gal when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made an united act of attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal, saying, This man is persuading men to worship God contrary to the law. But when Paul was about to open his mouth, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or vicious crime, I should have reason to bear with you, O Jews. But since it's a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I refuse to be a judge of these things. And he drove them from the tribunal. And they all seized Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to this. After this, Paul stayed many days longer, and then took leave of the brethren and sailed for Syria, and with him Priscilla and Aquila. At Sachere he cut his hair, for he had a vow. And they came to Ephesus and left them there. But he himself went into the synagogue and argued with the Jews. When they asked him to stay for a little longer period, he declined. But on taking leave of them, he said, I'll return to you if God wills. And he set sail from, Ephes from Ephesus. When he landed at Caesarea, he went up and greeted the church and went down to Antioch. After spending some time there, he departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now, a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, well-versed in the scriptures. He'd been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him and expounded to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross to Achaia, the brethren encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who through grace had believed, for he powerfully confuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that Christ was Jesus. Here ended the lesson. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. As the people were in expectation, and all men questioned their hearts concerning John, whether perhaps he were the Christ, John answered them all, I baptize you with the water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations he preached good news to the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, who had been reproved for, by him for Herodias' brother's wife, and for all the evil things that Herod had done, added this to them all that he shut up John in prison. Now, when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus had, not been, who, who had also been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form as a dove. And the voice came from heaven, Thou art my beloved Son, with thee I am well pleased. Here endeth the reading. No timidus. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, O Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may depart this life in thy faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat thee, O Lord. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, we give thee heartfelt thanks for the pioneering spirit of thy servant, Philando Chase, Philander Chase, and for his zeal in opening new frontiers for the ministry of thy church. Grant us grace to minister in Christ's name in every place, led by bold witnesses to the gospel of the Prince of Peace, even Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray together the first, or excuse me, the second prayer for mission on page 71. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Defend the sick, Lord Christ, Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. Now, 
uh, brothers and sisters, it's uh, enter into just a couple of minutes of intentional silent prayer. If you'd like to add your petitions, your intercessions and thanksgivings to the comment section below this video, please feel free to do so. Thank you. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we then unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our minds, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time of one accord to make our common supplication to thee, and has promised to thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, that will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks again for joining me this, uh, this Tuesday evening. I pray that you have a lovely, healthy, and safe uh, night to come, and look forward to being with you again tomorrow night. Take care.